Another version of Blender is out, and that means another video where we cover all the features in less than five minutes. Let's get started. Quite possibly the biggest addition to Blender 2.82 is the addition of Manaflow, an all new fluid system inside of Blender. I'm excited to see what the community is able to do with this. Jonathan Cron's a great starting point if you'd like to get some tutorials on how to get familiar with this fluid system. A major new production friendly feature has been added in Blender 2.82 in the addition of UDIM textures. It's created by Weta when working on Lord of the Rings, and UDIM textures allow you to use a single texture over multiple files with varying resolutions. Another massive production friendly feature is the addition of USD files which are universal scene description files which were created by Pixar. You can learn more about it on their website. Alembic support has been improved making it easier to share Blender files with other 3D standard applications. One of the coolest new features is this new custom profile option with the bevel modifier. When enabled you can draw a bevel in the curve window and it'll create it as a bevel making it easier to make more complex bevels. A new cutoff method has been added to help with complex bevels resulting in two-way intersected bevels and a weld modifier has been added that merges groups of vertices within a certain threshold, a feature previously only available in edit mode. If your developer extras are enabled, you can now select which features you want to use under the experimental tab and preferences. Grease Pencil has seen several updates, minor bug fixes, and the dope sheet has been updated. You can now add, remove, move layers up and down, all in the header. New opacity, blend, and onion skin controls have been added to the channels, and there's also extra layer properties in the side panel. There's a new eyedropper tool for creating new materials. By clicking, you get a new stroke material by shift clicking you get a fill material and by a shift control clicking you create a stroke and fill material a new grease pencil tool called the polyline tool has been added and a multiple strokes modifier has been added too a few new rigging features have been added including a new swing constraint which has been added allowing for some cool new rigging opportunities a new mix mode has been added to the action editor allowing you to have more control over rotation mix order playbass has new features including an option to only render the keyframes of selected objects which is useful for creating storyboards the f curve editor has had a a lot of tweaks made to the selection and transformation of keyframes and handles. A lot of these are just minor improvements that make it easier to manage multiple curves and adjust multiple handles at the same time. An awesome new decimate modifier has been added to the F-curve panel. This is great for cleaning up motion capture data and helping smooth out F-curves with too many keyframes. For all you node nerds, new math functions and mapping ranges have been added to nodes and cycles. The AI denoiser has been improved. BVH load times have been drastically improved on Windows. What this means is that when you hit render and it's loading your scene, it will now load much much faster, meaning that you can start rendering much quicker. It can actually be a drastic improvement on large render scenes specifically. Two new sculpting tools have been added, including the slide relax tool, which slides the topology around in the direction of the stroke while maintaining its volume. The multi-plane scraper tool scrapes the mesh with two planes, which can help create a sharp angle between the two. Mask operators, symmetry with dino topo, pose brush, and several other brushes have seen improvements in artifact reductions. Several new add-ons have now been packaged with Blender 2.82, including import palettes, which allows you to import Photoshop and Creative Palette files, PDT, which adds some CAD style techniques to the Blender tool set, sun position, allowing you to use real world coordinates to adjust the sun position. This is great for adding objects into live action footage or trying to match an HDR, and Collection Manager, which allows you to manage your collections in the 3D viewport. Thanks for watching. Let me know your favorite features in the comments below. If you'd like to take a deep dive into any of these features, I'm leaving a link to my friend's channel in the description where he kind of goes through all the new features and breaks them down. I'm also planning to include some of these features in my upcoming videos, so stay tuned.